Hi, in this video I'm going to continue with the computer store project and I'm going to add in a new folder for views and a new controller. The um, theory here is my computer store wants to offer services as well. We're going to do antivirus, we're going to repair machines, things of that nature. Um, I want to organize this into subfolders so I can, you know, delegate responsibility to different people as needed. So, let's set this up. Let me stop my project. I don't like the hot reboot. Just come over here to my folder, and you see under views I have a home folder. I'm going to add a new, fo um, new folder here. I'm going to call it services. I'm just going to call it services. Yes. And under services, I'm going to add a new view. I'm going to call it index. Give it a minute for the chug, and I'm going to add another one called repair. Now, each one of these pages will have custom content eventually, but for now, I'm just going to get the navigation to work. Uh, with a little bit of effort, you could create a custom layout for each folder. I'm going to do that in a future video. Why that appeared. All right, so the built, and if we try to run this thing and access it like we did before, it's going to fail miserably because we don't have a controller. But I want to demonstrate how it fails. So we see here I need slash home slash laptop. So I'm going to modify that to slash services slash index. Bam, can't be found. And the problem is the same as it was before. We don't have a controller. So I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer, and I see I have a home controller, which matches my home folder. I need a services controller to match services. So I'm going to add a new controller. Um, each one of these is useful. Um, later on, we're going to play with the read rate actions and the empty framework. This is primarily to interact with databases. For now, I'm going to create an empty one. The name is really important must call it the same name as the folder you want to control. So services controller controls my services folder. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. All right, so we see automatically get an index, which is nice. I need one for repairs. That's what I call that, right? Repair. Now, as you add these, please make sure you match your file names. Pin this back up. So I have index repair. I've got index repair. I must have both of those there. So now let's run this thing. Let's see if my routes work. So again, it's slash folder slash file. So I'll put services there. Repair. Boom, and it works. All right, so let's add them to a menu bar. And again, I'll modify initially just from by copy and pasting. What we need to change is you can't use home anymore. Put the controller when you wish. And give them something to click on. Boom, it works. Okay, well, so I could do that now for every page, but that gets unwieldy, especially if you have, you know, multiple folders, multiple controllers. Um, you might want to do something better. So I'm going to create a drop down box here. In order to do so, I need to make sure I get the right version of uh, Bootstrap. So I'm going to look under my www roots, and you see I've already dug into lib, Bootstrap, disk, CSS, and I go to Bootstrap, CSS. I'm using Bootstrap version 5.10. As Visual Studio updates, that often just changes without notice. So pay attention. Um, 
if you already have a project built in Visual Studio updates, that's okay. But if you have a project half built and then update it and half built again, you might get confusions between objects. Okay, so let's um, go to getbootstrap.com and get this object. So I already have it loaded up in Brave. And we go to my docs and look for navbar. And if I look at this here, I've got a drop down menu. I'm going to take this drop down menu and mo move it over, modify it for ASP. So go back to my layout page. I'm going to get rid of this. This is my services. Make it pretty. I don't have the format. Why is it not formatting? Hmm. Okay, that's an issue. Okay, so I like the classes. I'm going to add nav item for each one of these, though, so that I keep my consistency. I don't need the divider, I've only got two things. So what will change is it'll look like this. So I'm going to use services. Let me get rid of this active entry here. Looks clean. And I'll do the same thing down here. Notice how they turn teal. It tells you it's an ASP thing that's running on the server as opposed to running on the clients. Everything that's teal runs on this server, which means it runs before the user see it. See if I got the work. It's not there. So I must have missed something. Okay, so let's take a look what I did wrong here. Oh, as I need the surrounding. Yeah. Dumb me. So I need to surround it with this LI dropped on item. Why can't I format? Let's figure that out. So I'll call this service. Put this stuff in here. Get rid of my roll. No, I'll leave that in there. Let's see if I got it this time. Let's do a heart reload. Bam. Now you can play games and make that look prettier, but now we have a drop down button that works. Okay, so what you learned in this video was how to take a look at multiple con controllers. You learned how to figure out what version of Bootstrap you're running. Uh, you also learned how to modify your drop down. And you're moving along. Good luck.